that starts with S and with I. Please put your hands together for Anil. And he'll be talking about his journey in Union Bank of India as metaphors. Please, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And good morning to all. So now we are talking about the metaverse, a universe where you and I can become a part of, where we can interact the way we are interacting right now. In fact, this meeting could have been done in the metaverse itself. So there we are, and the technology which has progressed now, yeah. So. The way technology has progressed, the way metaverse has developed. So when we look at the metaverse, metaverse is not a new technology per se. It's a basically a combination of a technologies which everybody, each one of us talking about in an IT space. And it's not only the IT space. In fact, this technology has more to do with the individuals, with the citizens, with the customer. The way services are being experienced, that is a comp undergoing a complete transformation part of it. Now, when you look at the metaverse, some of the projections say that almost like by 2027, 40% of large organization will be having a metaverse based project, which means that down the line in five year time, the way we interact with our customer, how the citizens are interacting, that is undergoing a complete transformation part of it. That also means that as an organization, you need to transform, you need to come up with the expectation of the customer. Now customer is no more is going to your place, rather you have to go to their place, provide a place where you and customer can interact. That is what the power of metaverse is. Now, when we are talking about the metaverse and, and we look at the technology part of it, it is not a single technology. It is a combination of a technology which are currently at various level. Some of them are in the emergency space. Some of them have obviously seen a growth and we are talking about, like Madam has earlier talked about the blockchain. For last so many years we were talking about the blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. And each one of us were thinking that what will be the use care of this technology, how we are going to be used this. Now during last one, one and a half year, we are seeing that there is a complete sea change in the landscape as far as the blockchain is concerned. Similarly for AI ML, for long time we were using it. However, the kind of a usage, the hyper personalization which has come, obviously we are seeing an explanation, uh, explosion of a AI ML based technology. When it comes to the AR or VR, earlier we were talking about the augmented reality, we were talking about the virtual reality. Now I remember that there was a game where people were almost like a crazy and going to the places and searching for things. So we were talking about those things. Now this is the environment people were experimenting with the different set of use cases, different requirements. Now, blockchain has come into a place where all this technology can be combined together and can give a transformational experience to the customer. It is not only the experience, it is going beyond that, where the businesses can run on. In fact, I can see a a scenario where physically you may not exist, still you can provide the same level of a service experience to the customer and still you can say that I am having a like bank like Union Bank of India, I still can claim that I am having a branch, although it's not physically available, but look and feel can be same. Conference like this, we need not to have it in hotels, need not be in a conference hall, yes. But still we can have those kind of things. So those are the things which has got emerged during this period. We are talking about the digital twin so that a customer or citizen can interact. We are talking about the digital twin of a customer. So that is a, that is a transformation, that is a 
scenario we are seeing it and this technologies whether it's artificial intelligence web 3 or even a special computing which means that the your ar vr headset those kind of a devices which actually provide you the experiences that is what is all coming up and we are seeing those kind of a use cases where all this technology can be combined together and put for use which is a you may like i may like and even the the gen g the millennial kind of a customer who are currently into the gaming space in fact going ahead in the next five to ten years you will have a complete generation which is actually into the gaming space so while people like me may not use the games however there is an entire generation which is on a 24 by 7 basis they are into the gaming space now those kind of a customer those kind of a generation they are looking for similar kind of experience from the businesses also from the corporate also now this is a place where while doing a business you can provide the same level of experience to this generation of a customer this generation of a people who are looking for it and when we look at it the opportunity from the business side of it obviously customer services is a one area in fact in one of the use cases which i have seen it you as a customer if you have any grievances or if there is any technical issue which you are facing it you can actually transport yourself into the environment you talk to the customer representative if he is able to solve your problem it's good enough if he is not able to solve somebody else will pitch in into the metaverse and able to solve the, your problem which means that the the restriction of a physical place distance all those have gone away people who are sitting in chennai or in mumbai or in delhi they can be brought into the one place now another use case is a brand influence now we are seeing it we are placing a lot of brands advertisement nudges in all those kind of a things now this is a place where entire ecosystem is getting developed when we are saying that entire ecosystem which means that it is not only one business but it's like a real world which we are creating which means that in a in a metaverse where you have a bank branches you have retail shop you have big stores all those people are there which means that you provide a complete ecosystem in the metaverse part of it now when it comes to the technology part of it obviously to provide those kind of experience you need those kind of a technology now some of the technology which we are talking about the digital human digital humans means when i interact with the system i feel i get a feeling of a i am interacting with the human that is a kind of a technology prowess which means that it is not only the the presentation layer but the underlying layer of a artificial intelligence machine learning they all combine together to provide you the feel of a digital human similarly for the uh, digital twin or digital uh, uh, twin of a customer where a customer wants to try a outfit in a retail store he should be able to do that and he is able to do that so those kind of a thing you create a virtual space so conferences like this can happen on the virtual spaces so those are the things and one of the most important when we since we are a human we need a, we have that requirement of a interconnection or the shared experiences now this kind of a experience can be provided on the metaverse part of it which means that we feel a part of a community we are able to have a liberty to do things certain things and also in a one place we can be together so in fact i in india there was a marriage which has happened on the metaverse and there is a company in a bhopal which actually arranged that marriage in the metaverse so those kind of things are happening in fact some of us we may not knowing it the way things are moving the kind of experiences are getting generated in the metaverse in fact in one of the place where i was seeing it people are saying that it's a very crowded place all the people who are sitting here and the people like me who are outside this we may be feeling that metaverse is not there however metaverse is already there it's a very crowded places people like me who is 
chief technology officer of a union bank of india people keep coming to me with the innovative use cases now for me the problem is that whether it's making a business sense to me or not to the organization or not that is a primary criteria for us to implement it however there is no dearth of ideas there is no dearth of people who can implement those ideas for you so these are the things we can obviously talk about more into that in fact if you look at it the number the second life has paid around 80 million dollar for creation of a digital assets for the artists and all so that is a power in fact if you look at it 54 billion dollar has been spent on the virtual goods on the skins and all those kind of a things the gamer they are actually spending that much money in 2020 and we can think of that what is the kind of a scope which is having now a payment company who actually goes into this kind of a workspace or metaverse kind of a spaces they can always get those kind of a business which today we are may not be seeing it but there is an entire value creation which is happening underlying and over a period of time some of us will be there in that if you look at it there are 31 factories which bmw is having on the metaverse so that is what you can see which in fact in one of the use case when one of the company who is creating a training module what for that is for the mines by the army which means that if i need to train somebody there is only two way i can do it either physically or virtually now in a virtual environment obviously when i do through the e learning portal and all those kind of obviously if the experiences are not there which means that although i want to give a virtual training but in a real life in experiences now those are the power where this company has created a training module where you can actually feel the blast if you have done anything wrong and blast will happen and you will feel that so those kind of 4d experiences 3d experiences they are actually coming into this kind of a thing so so there is a immense possibility people are doing it and probably some of us will be doing it in fact global metaverse revenue was 180 billion in 2021 and i think city says that there is a potential of a 13 trillion dollar so that is a kind of a business which is sitting in the metaverse side of it now obviously this has all started in 1990 when some science fiction writer had talked about the virtual world they talked about and from 1990 till today we have seen the evolution obviously it is not only the idea but the evolution of a technology over a period of time from 1990 till date some of this technology obviously they were not existing at that point of time now they have become a matured they are going they are being implemented by the various people and obviously we are seeing those kind of a combination of technology getting stitched together and metaverse is getting emerged all together so that is a in fact one prediction says that by 2030 metaverse itself will become a very matured one majority of business will move into that part of it and that is a kind of a prediction so some of us have to start now some of us has to wait because those use cases need to evolve to a certain level but there is a need for each one of us to experiment to a certain extent so that we understand the power for our businesses and according to that we can implement those things obviously when we talk about the metaverse metaverse alone is not but web 3.0 blockchain these are the foundational technology which need to be implemented because when we are talking about the nft digital assets obviously you require those kind of a technology which provide you the underlying system of record consent mechanism all those kind of a things so that is what it needed for you we talked about the use cases in a metaverse obviously remote working is a very in thing training another thing 
entertainment, gaming, those kind of experiences are there. Education, today education if you talk about that in a technology term is a more of a monolithic kind of experiences, but going ahead obviously, healthcare is a, has a kind of a potential where you actually can see the patient, you can feel it, you can experience that what patient is undergoing those pains and using the metaverse technology you can actually treat it. So, country like India where we are having under penetration of a doctor's facility, probably this is one technology which can help you in bridging those kind of a gaps. Obviously, when you look at the who all are there early adopter, this is a very partial list, I would not say even a 1 percent of the people who are there, but they are prominent name who has implemented all metaverse technologies. So, Gucci in a retail kind of a thing, Meta, Microsoft, Snapchat. So, these are the people who are actually experimenting automobile kind of a thing. When you look at the banking space, obviously there are our global banks are there who has implemented metaverse for certain use cases, JP Morgan Chase, HSBC, they are primarily using for the training purposes. Bank of America, they are there. Union Bank of India, they have implemented the metaverse launch called Universe, which provide you the experience of a real branch banking experience. Obviously, looking at the current regulatory environment, where you are not able to provide the transactional capability to the customer, obviously to a certain extent you can provide those kind of a, at least the informational services you can provide and that is what the Union Bank has implemented. South Korea is a one country where the government is promoting the metaverse at a large scale. So, majority of services they are moving into the metaverse. Every country has their own strategy or every company has their own strategy. Korea is a one country where the cartoon, webtoon kind of a environment, they are more promoting into that. Because looking at the kind of a communication technology which are existing today and the processing capability which is required for you, so obviously they promote those kind of a thing. Whereas in kind of a real life scenario, obviously you have to provide a like you are into the real world. So, those are the different choices which you can make. Obviously, we talk about potential implementation area, we have all talked about this. I will skip this part, we have already talked about this also. These are few glimpses of Union Bank of India Metaverse. So, this is like a actual bank branch, where you can use a car, you can walk in, you can provide a multiple services. It provides like a digital avatar, interactive screens are there, you can see the product information, you can get the limited non-financial like account balances, statement, checkbook request, those kind of a thing you can actually able to make it. It is available in a both the form that is a, a in a simple uh, desktop version, laptop version as well as the AR, AR, VR versions are also available where you can get the immersive experiences. I will skip that. Some of the prediction which says that by 2025, serious game market will grow by 25 percent on account of a metaverse. By 27, there will be majority of B2C enterprises, they will have a budget for the metaverse. So, that is what it talks about. Obviously, currently there is a level which is 1 percent when it comes to the sales onboarding and all, by 25 is predicted that it will be almost going by 10 percent and there are other things which are being predicted by a number of people. When it comes to the business, what we need to do? When it comes to the business, what we need to do? Should we straight away jump into or we have to wait and see? The only thing which says that you have to actually find out a use case do a limited experimentation. If it is successful you, you can expand it. If it is not, then wait for some more time, then you can again restart the thing. So, thank you all. Thanks.